Hello. Hi, everybody. My name is uh, Christopher Bays. I am the head of physical acting at the Yale School of Drama, and I've been on the faculty of the Juilliard School for the past 25 years. I'm really, really excited to come back to Beijing to work with the Beijing Center for the Exploration of Western Acting Art and the Yale Center in Beijing for a series of workshops, three days, um, August 7th, 8th, and 9th. Uh, it's going to be so fun. It's focused on clown and physical comedy. Um, and what's cool about it is um, basically in those three days, I'm going to get to do as much work as I would at Yale for a month. So it's a really intense uh, and super fun three days where we investigate your comic spirit, um, the thing that makes you unique and funny, and, and what the audience thinks is funny about you. Not necessarily what you think is funny about you, but what everyone else thinks is funny about you. Um, there's lots of singing, there's lots of running around and screaming, and rah, all kinds of um, craziness, and it's going to be really, really super fun. Um, so I'm really excited to come back. Uh, last summer we had a really wonderful workshop there and um, had a wonderful time with, with the students and, and excited to come back again and um, hope we'll have a really nice group this year. I got a couple questions uh, from people there that um, um, they wanted me to answer. That's my dog barking upstairs, by the way. Um, so I'm going to just kind of try this. The first question is, what do you think will be the best choice for an actress to do after undergraduate? to go for further study in grad school or to start work in the industry. And while I've taught in graduate school and undergraduate school, I feel like if you want to spend your life doing something, you should really get to know how to do it really well. And graduate school's for that. Undergrad's great. I know a lot of people who have gone on to have you know, nice careers in the industry, but you know, if you're going to spend your life doing it, learn how to do it right, I think. Um, the other question is, how would you, how would you do, how would you do to release the nature of the actors? Can you share some detailed methods? Well, that's what I'm going to do when I get there. Um, we can talk about it, but it's all theoretical until you get in the room and are moving around and and um, trying to open yourself. And you know, part of the work is really about getting, rediscovering yourself, getting to know yourself again, and also rediscovering what your talent is, and not necessarily just the part of your talent uh, that you like but all of it. Um, so that's what we're going to do. That's exactly what we're going to do. The other question is, how do you get close to the role? How to make an audience believe you are the role? Uh, that's a really good question. Um, there's, a, there's a sense that you have to immerse yourself fully in the given circumstances, the imaginary circumstances of the role that you're playing. And if you do that and really immerse yourself and, and uh, play all, all, all of the details of that role, then that's the way to get closer to it, I think. Um, and the last question is, how did you choose to start your career? Um, that's also a good question. Um, I just felt it was something that I really loved doing and that um, I felt uh, I really wanted to spend my life doing. Um, not that there was lots of other possibilities, but that was there's something that happened in the theater for me that happened nowhere else. And I loved it so much, I decided that that's how I wanted to spend my life. Um, um, and I was an actor for many, many years. At a certain point, I sort of changed as an artist and decided I wanted to be a director more. Um, I wanted to become the painter, maybe not so much the paint, if you know what I mean, which was great. But uh, I just became a different kind of artist at a certain point and, and decided also that I wanted to become a teacher. And the great thing about teaching for me is that uh, it forces you uh, to articulate for yourself what you think is important about the work and um, how to pass that on to other people. And that's what I'm going to try to do uh, in August uh, with these beautiful students that we'll have in Beijing. Um, I hope that you'll join us. It's going to be a really super fun, fun couple of days. Um, and I look forward to seeing all you guys there. Hope you're well. It's not too hot. It's hot here in New York. And uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks.